Hello, Robert Gluck here. Welcome to This Week in the Law. It's February 17th, 2011, and this week I thought I would discuss with you what type of auto insurance coverage you need to protect yourself in the event that you're involved in an accident in Florida. Unfortunately, in this state, you'll have to assume that half the at least half the drivers in this state do not have adequate auto insurance coverage so that if they hit you and you're injured in an accident, you need to have protection in your own policy uh, from financial uh, ruin in the event that you have uh, uh, large medical bills or other out-of-pocket expenses, lost wages, etc. At a minimum, everyone's required to have PIP insurance. That covers your own medical bills, no matter who's at fault for an accident. That covers the first 10,000 of your bills, so you should definitely have PIP insurance. That stands for personal injury protection. It's also called no-fault insurance. That everyone's required to have that. Then there's property damage coverage that pays you, uh, that pays to repair someone else's vehicle if the accident was your fault. You're required to have that by law also. If you don't have one of those two or both of those two, your license could be suspended by the state of Florida. They have a Bureau of Financial Responsibility. So if you're in an accident and you don't have either of those coverages, you'll get a notice that they'll suspend your license for that. Uh, the next coverage is collision insurance. And in the event that your vehicle is damaged and it's someone else's fault, but they don't have coverage, you should have collision insurance if you value your vehicle. If it's an old beat up car and you don't care about getting it fixed if it's in an accident, then you could skip that. There's comprehensive coverage in case your vehicle's destroyed in a fire or stolen. You should have that if you value your vehicle. If it's an old beat up car, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, there's also bodily injury coverage that you're not required to have, but you should if you have any assets or money in the bank. That's insurance that pays the other driver in the event that they're injured and it's your fault. You should have that or else you could get sued. Uh, the amount that you should have depends upon how much in assets you have. The more money you have in assets, the higher you should have your um, coverage for bodily injury. And finally, uninsured motorist coverage, the most important one, that's coverage that pays you or your family or anyone occupying your car if they're injured due to the fault of the other driver or someone else in the accident in the event that that driver doesn't have any insurance or doesn't have enough insurance. So your uninsured motorist coverage protects everyone in your car so that they can recover full compensation for their injuries. Thank you and have a great week.